All right, what's up, people? It's Tara. Just a quick little uh, video. I wanted to throw something out there real quick for my baby get home. I don't know why I get hella shy, like, if she sees me recording video. Like, for some reason, I feel hella stupid, so I'm going to make this really quick. So, um, my lady uh, proposed a, um, a suggestion, you know, for us as a family to uh, get rid of our devices certain days during the week. Um, and at first, honestly, I used to be kind of like, you know, <laughs> because I'm constantly, I'm checking YouTube, I'm checking Google Plus, I'm checking Instagram, checking Facebook, checking everything, World Star. Those are all the sites that I commonly go to on a daily basis, uh, multiple times a day. Uh, not only do I do that, you know, uh, ties on Netflix, on, uh, Xbox 360, wait, hold on. I'm right here. Yeah. Um, you can leave it on the, leave it on the, the dresser. Why are you looking like that? Okay. Um, but basically, there was a proposal for us as a family to get rid of our devices, uh, like a few days during the week, um, whether it's Monday, Friday, whatever the case may be. Um, and you know, at first I used to be kind of like, uh, opposed to like, mm, it's not that much of a problem, but honestly it is like everywhere that I go, I notice somebody's on their phone, they're scrolling, uh, hell, I've been to places where I'm trying to get service, you know, as a customer and people are basically on their devices, like so into them that they're actually not delivering good customer service. That is not my car. Um, so basically, you know, um. It's kind of a trip when you think about it, like, you know, myself personally, I feel like I'm surrounded by screens all the time. If it's not a computer screen, it's an iPad screen, which I'm on right now. Uh, if it's not an iPad screen, screen, it's a television screen. Uh, if it ain't a TV screen, it's some other type of screen, you know what I mean? It's just like we have too many damn devices around us, and what it's doing, you know, uh, to people in general, or even just our generation period is like it's making us all like uh i don't know if it's like thirsty for attention or um hold on there's a random ass car like poster right here you can't even see it <laughs> All right, I will. In a minute, I'll be right there, okay? Thank you, sweetie. Uh, random ass car, hold on. And they just hella bounce. Anyway, um, you know, so basically, like, we're all surrounded by, like, all these devices and stuff. Like, as time went on, like, we went from regular rotary phones to phones with, you know, numbers you could punch from phones with numbers to pagers where people could get in contact with you whenever they wanted to. You just had to call them back. And then from pagers, we went to cellular phones to where we barely was able to use them in our cars, but then they made them mobile. And then when we went to mobile phones, basically we had phones that were like damn near tablets, like on our hip. I know this personally because I own a, a I have a Note 3. It's like a mini, mini iPad as far as I'm concerned. And then, of course, there's, like, all the people that are, like, iPhone fanatics and shit. It's all the same shit. Basically, you know, all the phones basically are, like, now, you know, uh, personal, you know, computers. Like, I feel like my phone is, like, my personal device, my personal computer, my personal property. And I have numerous things going on in there. Emails, you know, uh, entertainment, um, health stuff, all kinds of stuff. But basically, you know, the point of this conversation is, you know, how has... Um, being able to have all this information basically, you know, in your pocket or on your hip or just, you know, mobile in your hands. Like, how has that affected your life? Because, you know, for my lady to say something like that, like, hey, you know, like, we really need to put the devices down, you know, saying this to myself and then, you know, just for, you know, our kid, like, are any other people, you know, experiencing this as a family? You know what I mean? Like, it's... It sounds like it's a real problem, and you know when I when I'm out in public, you know, in the community at work, like I see it all the time. It's like all the same stuff. Everybody's like, just 
so into their phone so into their instagram like just so into gossip that like it really doesn't seem like people are like really family oriented i see people like at the park on the phone <laughs> uh sometimes you know myself honestly i get caught up in the moment i want to capture shit i want to take pictures and shit i want to take video and shit sometimes i'm so caught up in the moment trying to film stuff that i'm not actually even really enjoying the moment because i'm missing the moment because i'm looking at it through a lens uh, so I don't know, I just wanted to know, like, you know, how some people felt about that. Uh, I know we're not the only ones, because I see it all the time, you know. I'm big on customer service, you know what I mean? The first thing I notice, like, if somebody has a phone in front of me and they're not paying attention to me, you know, that's a strike for me, and I probably won't even come back if you're that serious to where you're on your phone and basically you have no time for me. Like, I've even, like, seen as much as, like, you know, um, you know, I'm not I'm not going to name exactly where I was, but being in a professional environment where healthcare was concerned to where, you know, a patient is around basically and, the, you know, a doctor would be checking their cell phone like damn near right there in front of the patient. It's like, how rude is that? Like, I'm here, you know, for your time. So I don't know these mobile devices, man. Like, it's crazy. It's like, like, could we really like live without them? You know, we're learning to live with them. Like, it's almost like we cannot live without them because it's so much available you know, uh, through a mobile device. So I don't know. Shit. I'm running out of uh, moisture in my mouth talking about the shit. I could go on for a long time, but, um, yeah, I just want to know what some people's thoughts was about that because it's really a trip. It's really a trip to think about. Like, you know, you see people on their phones and shit all the time, driving, swerving, bapping in the shit, dying. You know what I mean? Because they trying to send a text. I know y'all heard about that one girl that uh, died on, I forget what state she was in, but basically she was texting somebody talking about, oh, I love the song, uh, Happy by Pharrell. You know, them, them, heavy, that shit. Fucked around and crashed. Can't be happy now. You know what I mean? Because basically you're, you don't even exist anymore because you were trying to, to shoot a text message to tell somebody how happy you were about a song, but you were driving on the freeway endangering yourself and as well as other people. So, I don't know. I don't know if you want to call this a public service announcement. I don't know what you want to call it. Maybe just call it some awareness and maybe take a look at yourself as well too because um, hopefully we'll get ourselves under control as well. So, yeah. I'm Tara Eddie Wood. Bye. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> that was an outro. Bye.